Hello friends, in this solved exercise, we are going to learn how to create calculated columns in Pandas data frame. Best way to complete this solved exercise tutorial is to watch the problem and pause to think or solve the problem on your own. For any doubt related to this video, you can write in the comment box or you can attend one of our doubt sessions online to register our online live doubt sessions refer the comment section or the description of this video so let's begin the first step is to import the library this is the exercise based upon pandas the library we need to import is pandas library so we import pandas as pd as a standard practice the problem one is about to import the data set the url of which is given in the description this tips data set have to be saved as tips this is a csv file so we use the function pd dot read underscore csv so we simply put the path of this file or the location of this file so the location of this file is github so we provide the url within the bracket of the function read underscore csv if it is on your hard disk we will provide the file path here and on the collab notebook i will show if it is in your hard disk and you want to import on collab notebook how to do it it's again a simple but it requires two step the first step click on this folder icon here then upload the file from your hard disk okay you import the file from your hard disk then there will be a path file path will be there on these three dots copy the path and instead of url put this copy path so in collab you cannot directly mention the file path from your hard disk you have to first import the file to the collab environment and then copy the path from here problem two a straightforward display the first five rows we do it to ensure that our data set have been imported and how and to get a feel of the data set how it look like command is tips dot head it will show you the top five rows so there are columns like total bill tip gender smoker yes no day time lunch or dinner size of the family bill per person which is again a calculated field which is given in this data frame as total bill divided by the size of the family payer name who paid the bill credit card number and the payment id as a calculated field you are asked to first calculate the percentage of tip to total bill the percentage of tip paid the formula is given so you have to get a column which reflect the calculate percentage tip for each row so as a solution as per formula first we will get the tips column so it is tips is the name of database tip is the column divided by tips total bill right and then multiply by 100 so to convert it into the percentage so we converting a fraction which is tips tip column divided by tips total bill which is a fraction or a decimal into a percentage now this column we got so for first row the tip paid is 5.9 percent for the second row it is 16.05 percent and so on calculated for all the rows so in the last problem we have calculated now create a new column of percentage tip it means that we have to save in the existing data frame the name of which is tips a new column which is a calculated column of percentage of tip paid by each individual and the name of the new column to be tip underscore percentage if you able to solve or understood the solution to last problem then it is also straightforward 
just you have to assign those calculated value to a new column so you see that we have assigned or saved in fact the calculations of percentage of tip to total bill as tip underscore percentage so this new data series is available to us which we can use for any further calculation still it is not the part of your original data frame but now tip underscore percentage is stored or saved for further use in any calculation or comparison etc so in solution 3 we just calculated but not stored in solution 4 we calculated and stored for the future use insert this tips percentage into the existing data frame tips so that it will become an integral part of your tips data frame. so the calculation which we have done previously which is a tips column divided by tips total bill into 100 this will calculate the percentage tip and these calculations we are storing in the tips data frame as tip underscore percentage column label so after running this code right it's always remember if we don't write it like this it tips data frame a bracket and then the name of the label or the column we want to be then only it will save or create a calculated column in your existing data frame otherwise it simply create a data series which you can use for future use which we have seen in solution 4 here we are calculating the values but also at the same time storing it in the existing data frame as tip underscore percentage to check it we run again run the tips dot head and see this time we got in the end a new column with the label tip underscore percentage we have seen that new column generated tip underscore percentage has many decimal values so to round up up to one decimal place so at the time of creating or we can simply overwrite the existing tip underscore percentage column after rounding up to one decimal place so the right hand side is tips column so on the right hand side a tip underscore percentage column of tips data frame has been rounded to one decimal place and overwriting to the same name tip underscore percentage in the tips data frame after that view the first five line tips dot head and you will find that all the values which are previously in tip underscore percentage are of many decimal places are now being restricted or rounded to the one decimal value now there is a column where we want to drop it so this is how we have seen previously that how to create a new column which is a calculated based upon the calculations now if we want to drop any existing column how to do it the pair name we are not interested to keep in our data frame so the function is tips the name of the data frame dot drop and we first we have to provide the column name it can be one column at a time like pair name in this exercise or can be multiple say for example you want to drop pair name and credit card number both then separated by comma mention both the column label or names and you will be able to drop the axis equal to one is being mentioned just to ensure to tell that it is a column name so axis equal to zero refer to rows axis equal to one refer to column if we mention axis equal to one then this function look for the pair name label in columns and then drop if you mention axis equal to zero then in that case this function look for pair name label in rows 
and if available then drop so same function can be used to drop a column or row a single or multiple now we want to change the index as of now the index are or the row numbers are starting from 0 till and 0 1 2 3 and so on so instead of index as row number we want payment id of individual rows to be the index of this data frame so that later on if we want to search by the payment id we can straight forward search the rows so the function we are going to use is set underscore index so our data frame is tips dot set underscore index and provide the name of the column which you want to be a new index in this case it is payment id so we have seen that payment id become our new index previously the index is 0 1 2 3 4 but now the payment id are our index but what if we have seen the first five rows again of our tips data set it's still showing that the index are 0 1 2 3 so what has happened in the previous command we have created but not saved so that's why our original data frame still have the index as 0 1 2 3 and so on and payment id as separate column so you are required now to change the index of data frame as per payment id so the function remain the same tips data frame dot set underscore index as per payment id and we assign it to our data frame tips so now see the first five rows tips dot head you will find that the payment id become your index of the data frame if you don't assign it to tips data frame then you will be able to view but not there is is a change to the original data frame so to make the change you have to assign it to the tips data frame as we have done in this case so a setting of index is a permanent or can we again move back to the index as 0 1 2 3 so here reset index of tips data frame to row index here we will use the default and we use the function reset underscore index on tips data frame and assign it to the original tips data now you have seen that the index or the row numbers are now 0 1 2 3 and payment id becomes your first column so whatever is your index currently has been assigned to first column and your row index have been reset as 0 1 2 3 so what we have done in this exercise we have seen how to calculate a calculated field like tip underscore percentage how to readjust or round up the values here we have done till first decimal place then how to remove any column or drop any column like payer's name how to change the index of our existing data frame so we have changed with payment id how to reset the index to the original or the default as 0 1 2 3 then we have done in this exercise with reset underscore index so i hope you people have learned the basics of how to work with calculated fields or columns in data frame for any doubt you can write in the comment box or you can attend one of our live online doubt sessions where you can put your queries with our faculty and will be able to get the solution there to know more simply refer to the descriptions in this video thank you